Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, the RLC leader, JJ Stewart. Make sure y'all see me. And we're doing a reaction to Gotham Knight. Revealed 28 super suits. I'm blending in with the dark. <laughs> Wait, I'm not like that. Hero suits for your characters to wear, and we're about to show you the designs for 28 of them. From suits inspired by classic cartoons, to a set designed by a bona fide comic book legend. Developer WB Montreal has drawn from DC's rich history, but created some truly new ideas for how Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing and Red Hood could look in their take on the Batman universe. As part of IGN First, we spoke to the suit's creators about the unusual way they were designed, how they'll work in game, how they can be customised, and more. I don't know about that one. First, it's important to realise that Gotham Knights makes a distinction between gear, which is equipment you earn that purely changes your stats, and suit styles, the cosmetic look of your character that also come with stat boosts. We're showing off suit styles here, and the key to the philosophy here is that while elements of them can be customised, you can't mix and match between different suits. Player expression oh, okay, for us is very important, you can't but we wanted the internal suit for another suit. Makes sense. To make sure that we could harness that in a way that allowed Ooh, for a degree way. of clarity and unity to the look of all of these different suits and suit styles. We wanted the liberty to make suit styles that were different from one another enough that they all had their own really strong personality. And to do that, we wanted to make sure that you always looked cool. You didn't want to end up with a red hood that like looks kind of sketchy because you made bad fashion choices. Red hood is supposed to be always cool. There will be 11 different suit style sets in Gotham Knights at launch, making up 44 individual suits in total. In order to get as many varied and eye-catching designs as possible, the character art team looked far beyond their studio walls for inspiration. We knew we wanted to create this wide range of suit styles with a lot of distinct looks. So I think we took an approach that was pretty unique to this project. We started with our internal team, but we also searched for a bunch of artists that would have uh, styles that kind of synced up with what we were looking for. Basically looked on the internet, you know. So we're getting 40 suits. So far, the Eternal is okay. The Shinobi was the one that I've seen that I liked it the most. Shinobi is like my number one. Uh, various websites, various people's portfolios, various social medias, and then we ended up having artists from Germany, France, Korea, Japan, yeah. US, they're all uh, contributing you know, to hood. generating ideas for these suit styles. That was very exciting for us because several of those different suit styles were happening at the same time. So we will get a work in progress update from one artist, say from Germany, and then the next day we'll get something from Korea, for instance. Ooh, so for us, it was bro, really interesting Shinobi. to see each artist's personal like taste the and like their the take on, on, the, on the suit styles that we chose for them. For instance, like the, the Beyond one, like mm -hmm. the artist, his portfolio is already looking somewhat like easily, I would say 70%. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, so this is like close to what we were looking for. So, so that the Beyond is like, basically. <clears throat> The Beyond suits are based off the Batman Beyond Terry McGinnis suit style with the wings and all that. Sort of like the initial confidence. And I feel like you get awesome results when you ask okay. someone for their okay. own kind of like personal that. style like a little bit. You, you tend to get like more passion, the more, the more it flows better for them, I think. Designing the suit styles for Gotham Knights was a true collaborative okay. effort, with DC, of course, having its own input. This relationship apparently wasn't a restrictive one, though, but one that encouraged experimentation. I mean, working with okay, DC like on these suit styles, I mean, it's a partnership for sure, and it starts in the early stages of the character designs. We share very early sketches with them. 
you know, get get kind of a, a buy-in. Like, what do you, this is the direction we're heading. What do you think? Are you cool with this overall Neon. direction? Neon. Yeah, it was a fantastic Ooh. relationship. Like most of the time, we were encouraged oh, to explore how would this look on my desk. Better. Was was something they were imagining, or we heard more than once. Neon. You know, if we all agreed, we all want this as a collectible sitting on my desk, then then we were moving forward. <laughs> the Nor the Norin, Batman Norin. I mean, I mean, Neon Norin. I like that one too. I mainly like not red is okay, but I like more Robin in the background. While every suit style's overall design is somewhat fixed, each one comes with customizable elements, further letting the player tinker with the look of their chosen hero. Our decision okay. was when we make a suit style, we will let you customize parts as we design. We will let you apply colorways because we know where they go on the, each individual suit. Ooh. And we will let you swap suit styles, but we don't mix parts from one suit style to another because it would end up with very strange overlapping yeah. parts. And we just wanted to make sure that we could always provide so a high quality. Within each suit style, we have four elements that are customizable. The cowl, the logo, gauntlets, and boots plus the colorway. So for example, you might like a, a minimalist version of the mask because you want to see the, the character and you, you think the character should have their, their face exposed or see, be able to see their hair or be able yeah. to see their eyes. There may be a version of the cowl that gives you more of the kind of the scary white slit eyes, right? Or you might want to have a version that completely covers the face and gives you a, you know, a much kind of more intimidating visage as you're building your character up into this kind of new dark knight. I know I like that when nice. I craft oh. a blueprint that says year one suit style on it, that's what it's going to look like. Year now, one. if I decide later on that oh, so I Batman, would like to continue this is Batman year one outfits and that to look universe. like that, even though I have a new suit blueprint Ooh, from like a different Batman. style, okay. and it's cool, and I have a love all the stats, but I don't like it as much as my year one suit style Ooh, appearance. Okay. I can I actually say, I transmog over here. top of that suit style. They're sort of thematically connected to the story as you play, and you keep getting blueprints uh, dropped to you by completing crimes and uh, so is it unlocking 40? different beats of the story. Start out as you get that stuff, and you, as you decide what to craft, every different okay. suit has a okay, suit style. So far, Shinobi, you can choose what you like the Year most, one. you can choose what stats you like the most, and occasionally if you're like, nah, I really want to override favorite. the look of that suit, you can use a transmog to apply it. Transmogs are changes to your appearance that don't affect stats. One of these comes courtesy of one of the artists most synonymous with the world of Batman. Man, Jim Lee. Getting those first sketches back, yeah, like watch. really rough idea sketches, you know, yeah. from Jim Lee. Like it's it's pretty cool to see someone's process that's at that stage, like in their career and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's not often you get the opportunity yeah. to see well, something like that at, at a Balance very rough cover. stage at the beginning of the, of the process, and also Super those suits are so you know classic. You know, at that point, we we explore all the different range of suits, okay, and we know like one this too. one is really is a callback. It's it's a lot of players going to be. Yeah really loving this. Jim Lee even got a glimpse of the team's original designs, a real pinch me moment for the team. I like that color <laughs> thing. Okay, that pushes Anecdotally, we've heard a few uh, I mean, like, that it's looking good, that he likes it. Uh, he's seen a few of our character concepts, I know. Colorways are that extra layer on top that really allow for your hero to stand apart from the rest. They range vastly in the amount they differ from each knight's classic colors as well. The majority of our colorways are familiar to the brand or, or ones that you, you yeah. kind of expect or tweaks of them or maybe different versions we've seen in comics. Now I wonder if they're going to have her straight purple. And then we'll have okay. a section of these colorways that is kind of well, a, a muted the, set. No, so maybe some one. blacked out ones or grays and whites. And then we have a small section, which is the unexpected ones. You know, these are ones that are pushing the envelope. Yeah, they're definitely out there. There are a few of them sometimes I play the the build and like mm. these are colorful <laughs> Ooh, so yeah. but surprisingly like these are the ones i always see people so playing have... oh you know what oh man you know what i hope they have is bad girls i'm trying to think was that bad girl or was that bad woman with the silver <clears throat> i think that was bad woman not bad girl Cause I'm I'm trying to think. Did Batgirl? I don't think Batgirl ever had a silver outfit. I don't think she did. I think that was. But I swear, I feel like I swore she did. I 
I swear I thought she did. No, I think that was Batwoman, yeah. I think that's Batwoman. Because Batgirl had the always the purple. Always the purple. Yeah. Because Batwoman, I think Batwoman had... I think Bat... Yeah, I think Batwoman had... I think Batwoman had... Or, yeah, Batwoman. No, I, man, I freaking feel like it is Batgirl. Let me see. Oh, her silver, okay, okay, so she did have it. Her silver, blue, her silver and blue outfit. That's the one I was thinking of, the silver and blue one. Yeah, the silver and blue one. Because I think the Batwoman had the, the other one. By loving loving the ability to put on these like yeah, crazy colorways. Yeah, offers a lot of choices, right? A red hood that isn't exactly red may raise a few eyebrows, but that's the point. Gotham Knights encourages you to change up the designs of your knights to find your own favorites amongst the plethora of options available. Everyone will find a specific suit style that yeah. speaks to them Shin when the game is like the main 25th. one I want to make. As for the character art team, they have theirs already. I'm gonna go with Knight Ops red hood i think i just something about it appeals to me i love that set <laughs> the entire set is so unique because it's from yeah. uh, you know like one artist from germany yeah. and he's great we love his work and uh so yeah that set was just like a, one of those fresh take that yeah. we because you remember when they come in and they remember okay there's something really nice about them totally. something special it was early too for me Man, this is tough. You gotta pick one of the ones you did. You no, no, I'm not <laughs> going to do that. I'm gonna pick the Red Hood version of Shinobi. Oh, I'm gonna. Yeah, 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 I like that. Because it's so I different like and it's just striking it from is. a design point of view. And I, I love it for that. Solid choice. <laughs> Thank you. If you want to see these suit styles in full detail, make sure to head to IGN.com, where we have a slideshow gallery with each one. And for more from Gotham Knights, check out the opening 16 minutes of gameplay and make sure to stick with IGN for more exclusive content. All right, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Which one do y'all like so far? I think mine is going, it goes Shinobi, then Nightwatch. No, no. Shinobi. It goes Shinobi is my number one. Number two would be the Neon Norn, I think. Yeah, the Neon Norn. Night Watch, then Night Night Ops. Yeah, and because I, I think it's saying we got, because I think it's he was saying forty outfits. That's a lot of damn outfits. It's either it says reveal twenty eight super suits. Is that that's not that wasn't twenty eight, was it? That didn't look like that was twenty eight. Sets? No, I don't think that. They saying so it may be either twenty eight outfits or forty. Oh, I mean, if it's forty, then damn man, that's gonna be crazy for them to pick from all of the calendar, all of the um different ones. Cause then you could also have like, <sighs> you could have animated outfits. That's gonna be cool. I can't wait. I can't wait for this to come. I, I gotta look on IGN and see did they add any more outfits. And I'm gonna find the link and I'll put it in the description to what he was saying about go to IGN.com to see the screenshots. I'm gonna go to it, put it in the description for y'all. But let me know. 
But that's being said, it's been your boy the RLC later, JJ Stewart. Man, you know what would be cool is if they put like a lantern form version of them. So like theirs would probably be since it will be theirs since they all good. Theirs will be either like a Green Lantern host, bro. Cause it's like it's it's like you can't beat that because they already did ninjas or like shinobis, and then they did night versions of like the uh, night, and then they did year one. So it's like all that's left is I mean there's more out there they can do, but I'm like I hope they don't miss. This is a good opportunity for them to do one because I feel like they should be. I mean they should because is it'll be canon. Plus, Batman in the Arkham games, in the Arkham games, he had, uh, he had, I think he had two lantern outfits. I, th I know for sure he had the Blackest Night one. And I think he had, I think he had the red, the, no, did he? I think it's either the Red Lantern or the Green Lantern, two in the game. So it'd be cool to see them in like lantern forms, like a straight, just all of them. Like I would think it would either be like white, it would be white, blue, pink, or green would be the colors they would have to use because all the other colors are the bad colors, like orange is not good, red is not good, yellow is not good. Let me know what color would y'all choose for them. You know, I would want the Red Lantern version, but I know we ain't getting that. <clears throat> but yeah, that's being said, let me know in the comments below. It's been your boy, the RLC leader, JJ Stewart. Make sure y'all zap that like button, zap that subscribe button. Come remember the core of Lanterns. All we do is getting big. I'll see y'all for the next video. I'm flying out of here. Peace.